Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Joey. And as someone who has gone through the public education universities, I can share a little bit of my experience and also, you know, talk about how I feel about education, equi equity, um, and quality nowadays. Personally, I feel like education nowadays might not be as worth as much as it was before. It's more of a business nowadays, right? People just want money and the schools ask you to pay tens of thousands of dollars just for a degree, which um, in the real world, these kind of degrees might not even be as valuable as you may think. And a lot of people, you know, have this fantasized uh, dream version of like American schools and American universities, but it's not very uh, as it seems. So now what people you know value more are real world like skills. Once you go into the workforce, um, as, um, as I've seen, people are more value about what you can do and your capabilities and even though the degree can help you take a step into these kind of doors and help you get your foot in through the door, so to speak, it's not, it's not the end all be all, um, as you may think. Um, but in other words though, these, what the education does offer you is that a chance to get to know people and to connect with people who may also be going to these schools and open your eyes and help you step out of your comfort zone. And a lot of people has only been in a single town their whole life, but once they go out, they can get to know other people from different cultures, especially in America. You know, it's such a melting pot that we just get to know people from different walks of life. And you never know, you may be sitting next to uh, the next Larry Bird or something. <laughs> Yeah. So after all of that, I think today you can learn uh, important skills that is valued in the workforce just anywhere. That's the that's the caveat of uh, having the internet and just being able to have access to different kinds of resources nowadays that you can just go anywhere. You can pick up a book, you can go online. Of course, there's um, you have to do your research first and make sure that the stuff you're learning is credited and actually it has like valuable resources. So, you know, there's companies out there who's doing educational, like educational courses that's uh, much more valuable than just like a standard four year university degree nowadays. So it's important to think about your options and you know, think about if a uh, university or a four year path is really what you wanna do. And I think, uh, you know, a lot of things you, know, you can learn in the real world more than just from school and courses. So it's really important to do that, yeah. Yeah, for example, I'm taking a class right now in Evergreen College, um, along with Ingrid, who spoke earlier. And I feel like that offered me the same amount of value as um, when I went to uh, UC. And this, I feel like, you know, it's if, if you're able to get that kind of uh, quality education, if you're serious about getting some kind of education yourself, then it's not necessary for you to go to a uh, prestigious college. Of course, you know, it's nice to go there, maybe even transfer if you want to, but you know, it's not necessary. So, definitely. I have one question for you. Oh, so, yeah. uh, when you come to community college, okay, uh, how much do they expose you to other options and other kind of like I'm just trying to understand the perspective of yeah. uh, coming from a community college. 
think this trend is growing now. Actually. Yeah. People yeah. are going more and more to uh, two years of community college and then transferring to any other college because uh, all the admissions are getting so uh, hard, mm -hmm. so competitive, and it is cheaper, right? Yeah. It's so nice. It's um, as you said. And nowadays, so many companies are also uh, employing uh, through your skills more than where you're coming from. They also have that alternative pathway nowadays. Many, Google, yeah. you name it, all the companies. Yeah, Google. They find what coding skills you have, or what, uh, what coding skills, or anything. Yeah. So how does the community college help with that? Oh, well, I think, especially for someone who's uh, entering into a four-year college or just starting graduating from high school, it's really helpful to test out the waters, so to speak, in a community college because a lot of these universities, four-year universities, the first two years they basically are the same general course as a community college. You can take them anywhere. And transferring on your third year um, and exploring like your options, you know, sometimes people don't know what they want to do and they don't know what they want to major in. So transferring um, exploring what kind of majors you can take, you know, taking different classes at community college and taking like an extra year there. Those are all extra excellent choices and uh, good pathways to save money at the same time, as well as uh, making sure that you are you're really on the path you want to be on. You know, there's a there's a great example like this kid who was. Um, rejected from 16 oh, universities, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, and then he uh, he ends up working at Google, <laughs> right? Because, and then you see these people who went to four-year colleges and they come out and they're uh, working like- Entry-level. Entry-level jobs, you know? It's not, it's, not, it's not really about which college, which school you go to more than ever now. So that's, uh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty much the caveat I feel nowadays. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.